Hey, what's up, y'all? So, like, the days of the week are both Christian and pagan. Um, the names are pagan, like Saturn for Saturday, Sun for Sunday, um, Thor for Thursday, and so on, so on and so forth. Um, but, you know, they're also biblical, like, seven days of the week, God rested on the seventh day. So, I mean, it's all interspersed. It's all combined. And once again, Dionysus had a purple robe, cloud of thorns, you know, was killed and then risen three days afterwards. I mean, and that was before Jesus even existed. Okay, so a lot of the Gnostics believe, don't even believe Jesus was a real person. I actually do, especially because of the birth chart and astrology. There's like a quadruple alignment, an eclipse pretty much, in Pisces. And he was the age of the Pisces, you know, the fulfiller, the Messiah for that zodiacal era. Now it's the age of Aquarius. It's going into law. The Aquarius glyph is a water glyph, but it's also electricity or a bunch of V's next to each other for the fifth age. You know, who knows? <laughs> I'm getting into like some forbidden Christianity. Uh, I got the Lost Scriptures by Bart Ehrman. It has, <laughs> it has uh, 47 more scriptures um, than are part of the original 29 of the New Testament. The Old and New together is 66 books, but the New Testament is only 29. But the elect, you know, the <laughs> the powers that be, the ones that don't want you to think, nixed all the Gnostic, like, self-worthy uh, Gospels and stuff. This is a list of them. Let's see if I can focus. All those. I mean, I mean, some of them are, you know, two pages or whatever. But it's still good stuff. I haven't finished it, you know, I haven't even finished the real Bible, and I'm like skipping, you know, <laughs> getting into the Gospel of Thomas and stuff. Um, but it's really interesting because it incorporates Christianity much more than the New, New Testament. The Catholic Church and stuff just want the New Testament to be the four Gospels because it doesn't mention reincarnation, um, which means <laughs> we don't have another chance. And I believe Christianity, the original um, Gospels, incorporated uh reincarnation you know i mean in the gospel of judas judas is a good guy he's doing what jesus wants him to do jesus told him to do that stuff in the gospel of judas all the other gospels say oh jesus without without judas this wouldn't have happened i mean you know if you think about it sorry i'm losing my train of thought if you think about it the gospel of judas is proof that G judas did what jesus wanted he needed to be crucified Someone had to do it. So Judas, in the Gospel of Judas, he's a good guy. He's just pretending to be a liar. So all, all the fucking history of the world would hate him. It's a really interesting story. Um, but this is all just unearthed, you know, in the 70s and then <laughs> finally translated in like the late 90s for us to, to enjoy in English. There's new scriptures, y'all. I mean, this is monumental stuff and it corresponds to Sweet and Bird, and when they talk about heaven, I mean, it corresponds to a lot of stuff, so that's just the beginning of it for me. Um, there's another good book called The Jesus Mysteries and Jesus and the Lost Goddess, um, both by the same author, talking about how Sophia, the feminine aspect, was incorporated into the Gnostic Christians. And the Gnostic Christians didn't call themselves that, they just called themselves Christians. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they just incorporated all the Gospels. And then, you know, the saints and stuff just narrowed it down to 29 instead of the 47. Y'all should read it. Read it for yourself and then see if you're saved even more so than you were, you know, yesterday. Peace.